Hey, I'm Justin, and I'm super excited that you are here joining me again for another edition of Project Maps. Today's episode, we're talking about coordinates. No, I don't mean the coordinating your top with your pants or your shoes with your hat. No, I'm talking about coordinates on a map. Before we begin, let's see what our friend Jesse's up to. Okay, here we go. I'll call out your coordinates first. Coordinates F3. Miss. Coordinates B6. Hit. <sighs> coordinates D10. Miss. Coordinates D8. Darn. It looks like I lost the battleship game. Ha! Ah, that guy guessed all the right coordinates and sucked my battleship. Ah, bummer. You saw the coordinate grid on that battleship game. Well, maps have coordinates too. And just like how that other guy was able to figure out where Jesse's ships were, coordinates on a map help you find things easier. Coordinates on a map are made up of lines that go up and down and across. Let's draw our own coordinate map. Why don't you pause the video and grab your drawing supplies. You're going to need a piece of paper, two different colored markers or colored pencils, and a long straight edge like a ruler or a bookmark. Using one of the markers or pencils and your ruler, draw six straight lines across the page, like this. Make sure you put some space between the lines. These lines going across will be your rows, or latitude lines. Oh, uh, we'll learn more about the word latitude in our next lesson. Now, using your different color, draw six lines going up and down, cutting right through the other lines. These lines going up and down will be the columns, or longitude lines. We'll cover that in the next video too. The lines intersecting each other create these little boxes, see? And all these boxes together are called a grid. It kind of looks like our battleship game grid, doesn't it? This right here is a great example of a coordinate grid map. Can you see how all the rows and columns are labeled with numbers and letters? Oh, to help you remember, rows are the ones that go across the map, like how you row a boat across a lake. And columns are the ones that go up and down, like how a column of smoke rises up out of a chimney. It's time to go on a safari adventure using our coordinate grid map. These map coordinates are gonna make it super easy for us to stay organized and figure out where we're gonna go. All right, so let's take a look at the map and take a closer look at where we're gonna be going. Okay, let's start with the base camp. It's in row one, column A. Put your finger on row one. Got it? Okay, now using your other hand, put a finger on column A. Now to find our base camp coordinate, we're going to move our fingers until they meet. Where they meet at one A is our base camp. Draw a circle around it. Next, we're gonna need some supplies. Where's the supply stop? According to our grid map, it's at coordinate 3C. Put one finger on row three, and with your other hand, put a finger on column C. Now move them across and down until your fingers meet. That's the coordinate for the supply stop. You can circle that too. Next stop is the hippo hole at 3A. It's two squares west of the supply stop. Do you remember using the compass rows to help us find direction? Let's take a look at it on the map. Put your finger on the supply stop. We want to go west two squares in our grid. This is west on our map. So move your finger over two squares to the west. There it is, 3A. Next, we want to go to the area where there's a large herd of giraffes. Do you see the giraffe area on the map? It's at coordinate 4D. So we're currently at the hippo hole at 3A. 
how do we get to the giraffe area 4D from here? Why don't you check the compass rose for help with directions? Right, we have to go south and then east. Did you find it? Here it is, 4D. Our last destination is the overnight camp. That's a coordinate 5E. Let's find that one together. Uh-huh. You found it. This is where we'll set up the camp. And now you know so much more about coordinate grid maps. Man, map grids just make finding things so much easier. If you want to practice your map coordinate skills, you can look for these places on your own. Uh, you can look for the lions, the monkeys, the waterfall, the zebra herd, and back to base camp. Another great way to practice is to draw your own battleship grid and play battleship with your friends and family. And also, if you're interested in learning more about grids and graphs, check out our videos about graphing. All right, that's it for today's episode. I'll see you next time. And remember, always be clever. <laughs>